What is going on, YouTube people? Today, got a little pre-national news. CGC and JSA have finally announced their pricing, and this thing is open for business, both for mail-in and on-site at the National, if you want to take advantage of it. Now, what are we talking about? Um, if you remember, uh, probably about two months ago, maybe three months ago, CGC acquired JSA, James Spence Authentication. JSA, long-standing history of autograph authentication, more so in the memorabilia side of things. But they did some cards and stuff, too. But they never had a slap. Uh, they, they were always set up at a lot of my local shows where you could drop stuff off to them uh, or have authentication done and then pick it back up later. But they never really had a way to slab a card. They, they would just put a sticker on it or give you a sheet or whatever the case might be. CGC, obviously, sports card grading company, TCG card grading company, have or they did not have the ability to authenticate autos. So you could not send an in-person auto in to get verified by them like you could with PSA and Beckett. PSA and Beckett kind of own that secondary market autograph authentication space wasn't really a lot of competition for them now cgc did have signature series where you could send items in and they would have mostly celebrities artists etc come into the building and you can authenticate an auto through that because it was witnessed it, was, it wasn't authentication rather it was witnessing they would witness the auto and then slab it witnessed and they've done that with a couple cards I actually have uh, a few todd McCar mcfarlane and jim lee autographed cards from CGC Witness signatures. But what they did was acquire JSA to open up the ability to have people send in non pack pulled autos to get authenticated. Now, like I said, they announced this a couple months ago, but didn't give us really any other details when it was going to start, how much it was going to cost, that sort of stuff. They rolled out comic books about a month ago. Uh, went live right before I was at Heroes Con, but they had not done anything with cards yet. Well, here we sit today, and Monday afternoon, they announced their plans for cards. So we're just going to kind of, this is just general boilerplate press release stuff. You can see some examples here of what they have done. You can get the autograph graded if you want to. It is an extra fee. I generally don't recommend doing that. I just typically don't think it's worth it. But let's get to what really matters. The pricing. Pretty reasonable, in all honesty. So essentially what you're looking at here is this is the that 15, 20, 70, 150, $300 charge is what you are looking at on top of the grading fee. So really quickly, if you want to look at their grading fees really quick, uh, let's just assume economy because bulk, you need 25 cards, $14 per card. So if you send in a card, it's 14 bucks to get it graded and then $20 on top of that to get the auto authenticated. So $34 total now keep in mind with cgc they do have a membership it works a little different from psa um, you don't have to have one to submit or anything like that they don't really hide stuff behind tiers you just get a straight discount on your grading so if you are a premium member it would be 18 dollars per card for an autograph in that case and 16 dollars per card if you're elite uh, i have been a member on and off of cgc over the years I usually don't keep it active year over year. I don't submit enough to them. But if I know I'm going to be using them, a lot of times I will look into it because you could get, uh, a lot of times they'll give you grading credit that covers most of the cost, if not all the cost of the membership. Uh, for example, I hadn't had one for about six or eight months. I let it lapse at the end of the year. I re-signed up at Heroes Con because I was doing the reholder. I still have some books. I am planning on sending in for JSA authentication. So I figured, why not? Also, if I happen to use it at the national, uh, I would have the option to get that discount as well because it does work on on-site grading. So fairly reasonable for import or for the authentication services after the fact, you're basically looking at 20 bucks a card. This is the level most people are going to send in at. Now I did confirm with them, uh, this will be live at the national. So you will be able to get cards graded on-site and authenticated at the national if you want to. And uh, the pricing's the same. So the, the upcharge price is the same. It'd be 20 bucks on top of the grading fee, 15 bucks 
so on and so forth, depending on uh, what you are doing at the national itself. So depending on the tier that you are going with, there would be an appropriate price to match up with it. But you can have this done at the Cleveland National if there is something that you wanted to get authenticated in person and slabbed up and not have to worry about sending it out. Uh, I actually like the Signature Series slash JSA slab, uh, the way that it looks. I've never had a massive issue with the CGC label and adding on the authenticated autograph at the top here. Now, if you want, I mentioned auto grading earlier. If you want autographs graded, there is an additional charge on top of that. I just don't personally think it's worth it. Um, like, do you need to know that something is an auto eight versus an auto nine versus a 10? I don't know. I, I feel like a clean auto is a clean auto. A non-clean auto is a non-clean auto. It really doesn't matter. You could see that. An autograph grade, anyone can pretty much make a good educated guess on whether or not it is a clean autograph and it's going to get a 10 or it is a non-clean autograph and it is going to get a not 10. So I don't know that I need to pay them money to tell me that. You know, if, if an auto is streaky or fading or whatever it's going to be baked into the price of the card without the auto grade number being on there. We're all smart enough to figure at least that much out. So don't fall for the trap on paying for the auto grade. In my opinion, I've never thought grading the auto was worth it. Even with PSA and Beckett, I never thought it was really worth it because heaven forbid you get something less than a 10 and then it just kills it because a lot of times, you know, auto grading is weird. Sometimes I'll see stuff, that I'm like, this auto looks perfectly fine. Why did it get a nine? And then I'll see other ones where I'm like, I could clearly see a streak in this auto. How did it get a 10? It doesn't make any sense to me. So I, I would never pay extra to get the auto graded. So, you know, not necessarily a monumental shift here for anything. Um, it is nice that we have additional competition in someone else to use besides PSA and Beckett. And I think this was a smart decision by them to go after JSA. This feels like it would be really tough to spin this up on your own when instead let's go out and just acquire the people that are already doing this pretty well. Now, I mentioned this before when this news first came out, but in case you know you didn't realize it, this is a bigger deal to me on the comic book side of things. Uh, as I mentioned before, CGC had their witness signature series stuff that you could do specifically in comics with artists and things like that but they would not slab a non-witnessed signature. And that was something that Beckett did because Beckett had their authentication team. So through CBCS, you could get a non-witnessed auto authenticated. They would slab it up, authenticate it, and they would, they would um, note on the label that it was uh, verified, not witnessed, essentially is the difference. And that was kind of always a little bit of a hole in CGC's game on the comic book side. And when they acquired JSA, that really kind of cut away CBCS slash Beckett's last real competitive advantage that they had. So I think it was a really smart move for the comic book side. The card side to me is really just a bonus. Listen, sports cards, they continue to struggle from a total that they're getting graded to the resale value, everything. TCG, they do quite well. Now, I don't know, you know, I don't really dabble in TCG singles that much. I don't know what the market is for aftermarket autos getting graded for artists and stuff in the TCG world, how much that's a thing. So that opens that up as an option for them if that's a popular track for people to go down. And, you know, I've always stated CGC, in my opinion, of the big four grading companies has the best slab hands down. Uh, it looks the best, it's the cleanest, it feels the best in hand. So if you had an in-person auto that you wanted to get slabbed up and it was just for your PC, I could 100% see using them for something like that. Like I said before, for me personally, I'm not a big in-person auto guy. Uh, you know, I'll do it on occasion at like Comic-Con or something on like an action figure or something like that. But on a card itself, not very often. I could see me potentially doing, say, um, Chris Evans was signing at New York Comic Con and I got a Chris Evans signature on a Captain America card. Okay. Something like that, I would potentially take advantage of this. That would be my use case for it. I can't see me 
I'm not one to go to a show, stand in line for a player's autograph and then send that in and have it authenticated. In most cases, if you just want the player's autograph, you could probably find a pack pulled version of it cheaper. You're really paying for the experience to meet the person. So that's just my own personal take on it and where I sit. But I get it. For a lot of people, they are big into this. More power to them. So for me, am I going to use this? Is this going to be a huge move, needle mover for CGC? I don't necessarily think so. But just the fact that we have another player doing it is good overall. The more competition you have, the better off that you are. And now three of the four grading companies offer autograph authentication. PSA does it. Beckett's done it for years, obviously. Now CGC is doing it. SGC is the only one that does not. So that's all I got for you, boys and girls. As always, curious for your thoughts and comments down below. Uh, we'll probably have a Topps Chrome video tomorrow. I might not have a post first thing in the morning. Uh, I am getting a jumbo box Topps Chrome. I FOMO'd in the one last minute. So I'll probably rip that sometime Wednesday and then immediately put the video up. And then, uh, not sure for the rest of the week, I do expect some other newsy stuff this week. I'll just leave it at that. I have the red alert thumbnail locked loaded and ready to go uh it's the week before the national i have a feeling we're going to get some other announcements this week about things coming up that's all i got catch boys and girls on the next one peace